Responsive Portfolio Landing Page Using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript Button Integration in our website. In my recent video, I asked people if they want to switch from old-fashioned buttons to modern buttons in our portfolio. Since one person was okay with it, I decided to show my struggle with incorporating these new buttons into already existing code. So this is basically the old buttons from my past life. You may question, why change the buttons? Well, that's because, while I was working on the next section in this portfolio, I realized the buttons will be slightly different than others, and that means we will need to take a step back. I always emphasis on consistency and having different buttons for each section is not it. Sometimes in life, as well as coding, it's important to take a step back and reassess the situation where it went out of your goal. This make me undo my old buttons and add the new ones that actually suit the next section and the currently existing sections unlike previous buttons. This leads me to achieve my goal of consistency and professionalism as much as I possibly can achieve in this portfolio. This button class defines general styles like padding, uppercase text, no border, rounded corners, pointer cursor, smooth transitions, font size, and top margin. Look how horrible our supposed buttons look on web page before adding these new buttons. Primary BTN class inherits from button with additional styles for background color, text color, and position. Primary button has a priority and will be the first to be used in any section. Be sure to check out the short about hierarchical buttons. It also has a pseudo element before for an animated background effect that expands horizontally on hover or focus. By the way, I apologize for the delayed video. I had a baby lizard guarding the room where my laptop is, so I couldn't enter the room let alone work on this video. So I have taken the liberty to add a new color to our root variables. Obviously, it's another shade of blue for consistency, only there to add hover animation and such. So we want these two blue shades to transition on hover or when button is focused from left to right smoothly. Now this transform origin property is an underrated CSS property that sets the point from which transformations, for example, rotation, scaling, are applied allowing you to change the default center origin to any other position within or outside the element. For now, we keep this button animation for hover and focus, but if the need arises, we will use it for active button class as well. Now it's turn for secondary button that is second most important button and will be used in a section requiring additional button besides the primary button. I am gonna use the shorter version of button name since I am too lazy. Why did I remember it so late that I hate writing button? So secondary button is styled as an inline block with relative positioning, no text decoration, color transition, overflow handling, background color, and text color. Later, while I was adding subtitles to this video, the future me realized that for some reason you guys may not be seeing the secondary button animation as clear as it is. I am not sure why, but if you want to see it, Please make sure to check it out in the short I made on these buttons. I will leave a link in the description for this short video. Why are button styles applying on the web page when I just created this button? Found the culprit, my naming skills never changed. Let's add button styles and test the button right here. We have to add these buttons to all the sections requiring buttons anyway. This button was too fat, other elements might fat shame it so we change the padding horizontally. Now we add primary button to. Look how cute this button couple look. I wanna hover again and again on the primary button like a kid. Let's see what happens when I change transform origin to different directions so you guys can choose which origin looks better for you. Top and bottom are good too, but let's go with right here. Experimenting with stuff is the best part of CSS I love testing and changing things just to see how it looks in different ways, appreciating the beauty of elements in a web page. So on hover, we want the color to change into blue, but obviously, we are gonna make this hover animation modern and fancy than just background color change. We are also using pseudo elements before and after here to create border effects that expand on hover with a delay for each. By the way, 
I will encourage you guys to check out my other videos in this playlist to catch up with the rest of this portfolio. This portfolio won't be your typical portfolio where everything is just typing and everything already figured out. Here, we will go through the process of finding out what works best for us. Make things work if they don't and see how I embarrass myself figuring out the way to make things go according to the way we want. We are going to see the transparency of the making process not simply the final product. Also my stupid self doing things the hard way when they could be done in a simple manner. If you see such stupidity please tell me in the comments. I will put the link of this playlist in the description. Notice the secondary BTN before and secondary BTN after pseudo elements start as invisible by being scaled to zero horizontally, positioned at the top left and bottom right corners, respectively. On hover, they scale to full width from their respective origins, creating an animated border effect. If you have issues explaining stuff in English, use ChatGPT to make your English look cooler. Let me just try different colors on this button and its animation real quick. Although I have a feeling current colors are just fine. I am already working on my next section in this playlist, so I will release it real soon. Hopefully without any lizard interruptions. Yup, I like the initial colors. Fun fact, I made this video without coding this beforehand and in one sitting without any changes to manipulate this video. Except speeding it up a bit because you don't want to see the cursor stuck on the line for too long just because I am thinking what to do next. This button couple looks good enough, but if you can't see the animation, do let me know and watch my short for clearer view of the animation. Now that we are satisfied with the primary and secondary buttons, let's go for tertiary button. Tertiary button class has a transparent background, primary color text, and underline text decoration. On hover, the text color changes and the button scales up slightly. This type of button is at the third priority after primary and secondary buttons and also may not be used in this portfolio, but we will see. Let me just check something here. I need to see how tertiary button look like in our short. Looks like it's good enough to implement these buttons to the rest of the website. Home header section and skills section doesn't need any. This leaves us with portfolio section, which is a tricky part because we have JavaScript attached to it. So let's try not to mess up our portfolio buttons for the sake of adding new buttons. At least no classes are attached to the button directly. So now we add our button and primary class to it. Remember we gotta make sure our buttons in this section are supposed to fully cover the width of the screen on mobile devices and retain their width on the large screens. Let's hunt down the overlapping styles from the previous button style and new ones. Seems like there is a lot to get rid of here since our primary button is way cooler than this one. And let's delete the extra stuff. We already have a hover animation and we can't read the text inside button so let's fix it. Now it better look pretty. That's what I am talking about. Why is graphic design button being annoying? Let's hunt down the culprit here and fix it. We have a max width on the buttons that is causing this button to go out of style. While we figure this out, please subscribe to my channel. It makes my mom smile to see subs increasing. Where did the button max width go? Just so you guys know, I am now going to mess with any code related to buttons in portfolio in order to ensure they look the same height and also to make sure that no button is left alone on the large screen. Here you can see how sad this last button looks alone on the web page, even if the button animations look good. Let's do something about it. I do like the width of the buttons, but it's also causing the last button to go on the next line, so we will see which one suits us best. I love to scroll on the value here to see what looks cool. 
I am getting a feeling. It's something else that needs to be taken care of rather than buttons max width. Here is another trouble with five buttons, making the fifth stand out. I think the button max width should not be in 478 pixel category. Let's find out where it suits best. I don't know why, but editing this short video has taken me the longest time. Something keeps getting in the way of this video. Like fire broke out in our apartment building to lizards to me getting sick. This video better be worth it. I feel like I am getting too much dependent on media queries. Controversial opinion, but the best way to make everything responsive is changing screen width and seeing where the layout is breaking, and then put that width in media queries to deal with it. But people don't like media queries much, so I might cut out some of them at the end of this portfolio playlist to keep the code short. I guess testing some changes in padding doesn't hurt in buttons. After all, we need perfection everywhere. Here at 938 pixels lies the problem. I am pretty sure there are better ways to deal with this, but for now, this seems fine to my fever self. After this video, I will release the experience education section video as fast as possible. Probably within two days, if bad things don't get in my way. Let's see which margin on buttons works. The fact that I am checking the buttons with just hovering over the chrome icon shows much fever I have. Also how lazy. Let's make this margin work on the web page. This video has no energy and really bad in everything, but I will do better in the next one. Sometimes going wild and to destroy everything in the layout is the best way to rebuild things better. I hope you guys aren't bored enough to slap me in your dreams, but if you aren't then, thanks for sticking around this boredom. We are now going to increase this button's container width, and then center it. Finally it looks better, so let's add it to our main code. Remember we added it for 1020 for pixel width and more. After 80 for years, this looks lovely. If you have dealt with my dead humor for 13 minutes straight then, 